Well, you remember we talked a little bit before about just powering the wheels, electric motors are in the wheels on some of these electric vehicles. You would be amazed at how far that technology has come, and that's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2017 Battery Show, EV Show, Critical Power Show, all that stuff. We're in the Protean Drive booth. And uh, this is Tom, and Tom knows more about this stuff than anybody I know. So what's going on? What, uh, what has happened? Where's Protean been since the last time we talked to you three years ago? Okay. Well, we're here showing our hybrid axle. This is a way you would hybridize a commercial truck. These days, the only vehicles that remain with the old style live axle are commercial trucks. So what we're showing here is how you would keep the original combustion-based powertrain intact with a drive shaft connection and a transmission and an engine up front while adding 200 horsepower of electric drive to the rear wheels. So it's a very simple way to add a very high level of electrification to an existing vehicle through the hybrid axle concept. So to do that, what we're going to do then is provide extra power during what we want, like all-wheel drive operation, maybe the launch of a heavier vehicle, stuff like that? So what this generally does is it allows you to downsize the engine because you're adding a lot more power at the wheels. You don't need as much power from the engine. So that's an enabler for redesigning the vehicle for a smaller displacement engine. The other thing that it does is it combines the power from that engine through the transmission and drive shaft and axle with the electric drive so that the two powers sum together. So it enhances the performance significantly, particularly at launch. So from there, it also differentiates itself from a lot of the other ways um, that are done popularly with power split and serial hybrids where the engine doesn't have a direct connection to the wheels. We keep that engine with its direct connection to the wheels because it's a very highly efficient coupling usually. And when we add the electric drive at the wheels, we only enhance its capability. There's no compromises involved as you might find with a power split or a serial hybrid configuration. Right. And of course, so we have uh, some regenerative braking uh, capabilities now too with this, right? Oh, absolutely. These motors are equally as well suited for generation as they are for motors. And yes, indeed, you can get quite a lot of braking performance out of these. That doesn't take away from the need for a friction brake. You can see that we have friction brakes integrated with the motor. We're not prepared to take those away just yet. You know, generally, there's a limitation on what the battery can accept for the charge performance that causes the need for the friction brake to remain, amongst a number of other reasons, not the least of which is a legislative requirement for the friction brake. So yes, regen brake is, that braking is a very important part of our mission here in Pretty Electric. Right, and certainly cost consideration as well, too. Why not use an existing technology, which seems to work just fine? Yes, well, in this case here, we're providing an extreme packaging solution. If you took a look at the commercial truck or the light-duty truck that would have this axle, you would have to do a complete tear-up of the powertrain design to be able to add 200 horsepower of electrification to that existing vehicle. That's why these programs are so expensive. In this case, you bolt in a hybridized axle and you don't make any changes to the original powertrain at all. You merely have to find a place for the battery and the control system and you have a complete system solution as more or less a bolt-in option. Right, and here we're taking a look at the wheel itself. We can see the inside of the wheel. You can see the motor inside of the wheel and that sort of thing. Uh, could you tell us just a little bit more about how compact this package is? Well, the motor itself, we're looking at on this axle is have a segmented inverter design, which means that for the total peak power that the motor can deliver, there are multiple inverters that work in parallel to achieve that total. So in the case of the new motor, there are four inverters for a total of 80 kilowatts, 20 kilowatts each peak approximately, and that gives us a number of advantages in the marketplace that our competitors don't have with a single inverter motor combination. So I won't go into the details of those technicalities now, but the advantage that's apparent just in the packaging alone is what drives people to our product, if you will. And once they see how easy it is to implement, and then they see that we're competitive on a bill of materials basis, the other things that we offer become kind of icing on the cake. This is a five millisecond torque actuator. That means that when I command torque of it, within five milliseconds, it delivers. 
There's no torsional windup of a shaft. There's no backlash of gears. This is particularly important when I change the torque polarity. If I go from propelling the vehicle to braking the vehicle, it's five milliseconds. And on a conventional vehicle, it's you know 10 times that long or longer. So with that, then now what we have is the ability to use what is the braking performance of the motor for vehicle stability. This is ABS, this is ESP, this is traction control, and this is our favorite feature, what we call torque vectoring, where we can manage the torque in a corner, applying more torque to the outside wheel in the corner to make it corner easier and improve the handling performance of the vehicle. Sounds pretty efficient, besides being pretty awesome. So uh, how can we find out a little bit more about uh, Protean Drive and uh, maybe this transaxle? Um, how do we get a hold of you? Well, you can go to proteanelectric.com, and we have a lot of information there that can be uh, downloaded and, and read on your web browser. A lot of information about unsprung mass and the various applications of the motor, um, specifications for the motor, your contact information for how to reach people like me and others within the company in similar capacities, and uh, where we encourage you to do that. I think you'll find it to be a treasure trove of information. Very good. All right. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this, and I know some of you are, uh, be sure to check this out. Uh, this is really a technology that's uh, probably become, becoming more and more of our future as we look at EV vehicles and electric vehicles and uh, just kind of fun torque producing stuff.